Hello, Falava. Greetings from Samoa. My name is uh, Seumalo Afele Failangi. I'm the Assistant Chief Executive Officer for the Division of Environment and Conservation, the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment here in Samoa. Um, on behalf of uh, our Access and Benefit Sharing Project team, I would like to wish uh, uh, the Nakoya Protocol a 10 year happy anniversary. Under this uh, APS project, uh, we managed to assist like, you know, two communities here in Samoa to work with them to develop their biocultural com community uh, protocol, uh, which basically like, you know, uh, it's a document or it's a plan that sets out like, you know, the key requirements necessary or required by whoever like, you know, who is going to do um, a, a sort of like, you know, a research in the community to follow through like, you know, what has been laid out by the community. It wasn't like, you know, for us as a government to come in and tell them what to do, but basically to listen to them, like, you know, to set out, like, you know, the key requirements and rules that we need to follow through. Uh, we provided that explanations and all that is required to ensure that their rights uh, as a resource owner are well protected. Like, not only, like, you know, in the process uh, that we are having here in Samoa, but also looking at the legislation uh, that to ensure that governs the whole process of access and beneficiary implementation. One of the key uh, achievements under this project is the development of a clearinghouse mechanism, uh, access and beneficiary database, uh, which uh, Samoa will see will be very useful, like, you know, not only like, you know, as a means for a proper collection of information, but also like, you know, a proper documentation of the whole process of APS here in Samoa. We are fortunate, like you know, to develop uh, our genetic resources uh, management bill uh, 2020 under this project. Uh, uh, the kind guiding principles uh, uh, to ensure that the sovereign right of our people, like as well, like you know, governed in the in the, in the, in the legislations. The key requirements, like you know, of uh, uh, facilitating, like you know, the access and benefit sharing both on the national level and the community and village level needs to be well reflected in the legislation. Um, our experiences with the Access and Benefit Saving Project is very positive. However, uh, we do have uh, challenges that we are facing. Uh, looking at uh, our effort to try and integrate Access and Benefit sector across sectors, other government sectors, I think this is a real challenge for us. I don't think that we have done enough like, you know, to protect uh, uh, the integrity and the sovereign rights of our people with regard to the access and benefit sharing here in Samoa. Of course, uh, through the project, uh, we have been able like, you know, to develop our genetic resources and associated like, traditional knowledge management field. Uh, also, like, you know, we have a, a, a legal framework review to basically identify areas of priority and to provide some uh, legal certainty like, you know, to the whole process. But uh, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. You know, looking at integrating uh, access and benefit sharing to other government ministries to strengthen our process. Uh, not only like, you know, we are coordinating from the side of the environment, but also looking at from the perspective of intellectual property rights. I would recommend um, for other countries to look into uh, ensuring uh, a strong integrations and an engagement of our community as a resource owners right from the start of the process. Uh, in that way, uh, we provided a platform like, you know, for people, for resource people like, you know, to fully understand of how access and benefit sharing uh, should or will be operated like, you know, in the country and ensure that their participation are really uh, to a level that uh, ensure that their rights, like, you know, to voice their concerns are well reflected in the, in, in the whole process of, uh, of access and benefit sharing. I think the main ob obstacle like you know we were facing in like in the whole access and benefit sharing process here in Samoa is to do with uh, uh, consultations uh, with the community at the village level. Uh, as I've mentioned like you know more than six, 85 percent of the land owned by our people and they have every right like you know to voice their concern on how they see the whole process uh, the government process of uh, access and benefit sharing, not only to protect uh, their rights as a resource owner, but also like, you know, looking at how best that we could share any benefits arises from the utilization of these genetic resources because they are the resource owners. And the key challenge for, for, for the project team is to try and explain it and, and seek that trust, like, you know, from the community 
or from the people like you know as a resource owner so that you know the system is well like you know uh, uh, trusted by our people so yeah. ensure that we have the legislation in place and to try and integrate you know for example in the case of Samo it's just MNRE but we need to integrate it and mainstream to other sectors because for example the intellectual property right is under the administration of the Ministry of uh, Commer Commerce and, and uh, you know so we really need to make sure that you know we speak the same language when we talk about access and benefits sharing because of the time frame of the project and also with the resources availability our intention is to use the experiences that, that we had with the with the two communities and also the product so that we can initiate uh, consultations like you know with other villages that we've been identifying uh, suitable like in, in such an uh, uh, application like you know for example uh, there are other communities with uh, significant uh, community conservation areas in place for example and the support is there the bylaws are there but we are using the products of these two communities with their already developed uh, community protocol uh, so that we can uh, uh, facilitate the discussion with those villages and trying to engage them like you know to be part of this uh, access and benefit journey.